And what gymnastics taught me was just like, you can walk into a gym as a kid and be like, what the heck are these people even doing? I can't even imagine doing what they're doing. And then with a lot of training and support, like you're doing those things. What about when you started to actually get the word resilience? Tell me about that. It happened through an exercise called the Reflected Best Self, which I did after we knew that Facebook was going to acquire our company. You go around and you talk to a bunch of people in your life, coworkers, friends, family members, and you ask them, what do you see as my unique strengths? When have you seen me at my best? And I actually do this with my coaching clients and I'll have a thing in the every newsletter about how to do this for yourself. Essentially, you're doing research on yourself from the perspective of other people. And they talk about what they've experienced from you. And one thing that came up a lot was this idea of resilience. I think the phrase they used was bouncing back. Someone commented that you've bounced back from so many different things. I feel like a mm -hmm. lot of those things would have crushed me or put me on my back for a mm -hmm. while. And you just sort of move forward from that. Yeah. And that was something that they really admired. And so that got me thinking about the term. Mm -hmm. And of course, the pandemic had just was in full force and like lockdowns and everything. And it felt like this sea change of life as we know it will never mm -hmm. be the same. Mm -hmm. And so I think that also was very salient. Like where that phrase was almost overused for a while and it was used to mean just suck it up and push through, which we talk a little bit more about in the newsletter. That's not it. But I think those were all factors that got me thinking about resilience. And tell us about as you started to build out a framework for yourself and a framework that you want to share with others. We have a piece that you wrote that was excellent about it, but just in case people haven't read it recently, give us a refresher on like what is resilience and what's your framework for it? Absolutely. This is my take on resilience and what I've seen work for me and for the people around me. But I frame resilience as a skill rather than a trait or quality. It's not something you can like pile up in the bank and just spend your resilience points. And it's not just, oh, some people are born genetically resilient, like they're six foot five. It's not helpful to think about it that way. And from my background as an athlete, I was a competitive gymnast for 16 years. I was competing on the national level. And what gymnastics taught me was just like, you can walk into a gym as a kid and be like, what the heck are these people even doing? I can't even imagine doing what they're doing. And then with a lot of training and support, like you're doing those things. What we know about deliberate practice and skill-based training is that you can actually very much develop capabilities and capacities that you didn't orig originally have. And as I started to think about what are the actions and activities that actually cultivate or generate resilience, I'll tell you what the four skills are, and then we'll talk about how we got there. Respond, which is about reacting in the moment to take on the change or situation head on. Restore, which is about healing and connecting with community in the wake of that change. Rebuild, which is about finding a new direction and kind of making steps towards that new direction. And reflect, which is about like learning and telling that story and owning that narrative after you're on your way. And so it, it all feels very nice and neat. And obviously that's my goal with a framework is to both there's a bit of a path, right? You have to respond before you can rebuild, even though you may use all skills at different times. But I bottoms upped it, which is to say I wrote down individual things that one might do. So within those four skills, there are like three strategies within each one. So I won't list them all, but like with respond, it's like embrace the struggle, work the problem, confront reality. And so I started by writing those sorts of things down. And I wrote and I went on various iterations of what those were. And as I would write them down, I would say, is this really combined within this other thing? Can we group these together? Does that make sense? And so I went through a lot of iterations. And honestly, there's like a Fast Company article where I'm like, the three skills of resilience. And, and then I was like, wait, no, there's another step in the process. Or like, I need to re refactor this. So it's been a work in progress. And I think it's coming together and writing in public and testing it and getting feedback from folks, readers has been really helpful to refining that and helping seeing it actually put into practice. But I'm sure it'll continue to change even as I keep working on it.